What's up? Today we're talking about a lie, value versus insight. So when I started this like online business thing, maybe you were too told this advice, which is just give everything away for free. I even had like a cool phrase for it. I said, if you give this sauce away for free, people will pay you to cook it for them. I changed my mind because I realized that I was wrong. When I gave all my value away for free, what happened is that I attracted a lot of triers, not a lot of buyers. I attracted a lot of people who took it and then they said, thank you so much. Let me implement and then I'll get back to you. I didn't get what I was promised I was going to get, which is, man, this is so good. Where can I get more out of it? Like that just didn't happen. If it happened, it was a very small amount of people and not nearly enough to justify the effort I was putting into giving everything away for free. And then I thought it doesn't really make sense. If I give all my value away for free, then what happens is that why would people work with me? <laughs> like, it just didn't make sense at a logical level because they, they just, you know, they just ghosted, right? They took the information. They treated me more like a Wikipedia than anything else. They took the information. Thank you so much. They pump and ghost, right? I didn't believe, I didn't want to believe this was true. But then I realized what happened and I thought, okay, something has to change because I don't want to be treated like a Wikipedia. I don't want to be treated with disrespect. I want to make money here. What do I do? That's where Insight was born. And say this is a different way to create content. My ex has 220,000 followers and my Instagram has 15,000. The other one's 15 times larger and they make me the same amount of money, like the exact same amount of money, even though one audience is 15 times larger because one was built with value, which was X, but Instagram was built with insight. Uh, insight is to me a much easier way to create content it pumps out faster, it attracts better leads, and it doesn't get you triers, it gets you buyers. Now, what is uh, value versus insight and who is it for? Who is it best for? The people who recommend you post value and you give everything away for free, these are people who sell different stuff to you. They sell more like ultra expensive stuff. Like think about real estate syndicates, like the people who are telling you to give all your value away for free, they're either copying somebody else or they partner up with people. They take equity in somebody's business. That is the right play for them because they sell $10 million stuff, $100 million stuff. Then it makes sense, right? But you probably sell like coaching and consulting and you just don't charge $10 million for your stuff. So there is a world in which what you got to do is different. That's for coaching and consulting. That's insight. So what is the difference like tactically in value versus insight kind of content? Valuable content tells you what to do. Actually, value based content because insight can be valuable, but value based content tells you what to do. It gives you the map as in do X, Y, Z, do one, two, three, and then you will get there. But think about what happens in people's minds when you give them that. They get your value, they get the guide, and then they're like, oh my God, I want to try it, right? Because they're anxious, like they are, they're having a problem in their business, in their life and wherever. So when they get something, they can't help but want to do it. Like when you see somebody do some a certain exercise at the gym, it's like, well, maybe you want to try it. Right, you get a new toy, what do you wanna do? You wanna unpack it and run it, right? You don't even wanna read the instruction manual. You don't even wanna read the guru sales page that gave it to you. You just wanna go ahead and do it, right? Insight is different. It doesn't teach people what to do. It shows people where to look. TED Talks are a great example of this. Have you ever like heard of a TED Talk? And you're like, oh my God, that makes so much sense. You're inspired and then you, Maybe maybe you do something with it, maybe you don't, right? But that's beside the point. But it got you to feel something. It got you to feel like that person who was talking, he knows something that you don't. What does that make you do? It makes you want to lean in, right? If I ask you about like, what are your top gurus? Let me, let me, let's come up with something. Let's say Simon Sinek or Sinek, right? So what do we remind, why, what do we remind, why do we remember him? We don't really remember him because of, um, like he told us, do this, this tactic and the worksheet that he gave us. 
Remember him because maybe the golden circle struck with you. Maybe it was the start with why that stuck with you. That's an insight. It didn't tell you what to do, but it did show you where to look. And that is enough to attract the right people. And that's why my Instagram makes 15 times as much, uh, it's 15 times more efficient than my Twitter, even though Twitter is 15, 15 times larger. Can't speak today. So what is the outcome? If you lead with value, then uh, let me just tell you what happened to me. It's just, you just attract a lot of triers. People who want to take your stuff and be like, thank you so much, bro. See you never or until you drop the next thing. Right. And then they pump you and then they go. And that ends up kind of in a in a loop in which people just expect you to give free stuff and they don't buy because they know that if they just keep waiting a little bit longer, you're going to give them more value, more value. And then they're just not going to buy. Right. Because why would they? You gave it all away for free. Right. It attracts a lot of triers. I used to have this course. Uh, that I did in 2021 and I was pretty proud of it and I gave it away for free and I thought you know what Building goodwill. I'm the good guy, right? So I gave it away and I got some thank yous and that was it Right, and then I said I hate this and I didn't know about the value versus insight concept back then But I said I hate this and I just put a price tag on it. I put a $300 price tag on it a few weeks later 12 people have tagged me on a post saying, thank you for this. This helped me because when you pay for something, you take it seriously, right? So while value attracts triers, insight attracts buyers. And it was the main difference between having an audience of fish and having an audience of whales. Fish are people who cannot and will not pay for your stuff. Uh, whales are people who can and do pay for your stuff and that's kind of the difference not I'm not saying everybody on, on X is a fish I'm just saying the concentration of whales is much much larger 15 times larger on my Instagram because I built it the right way Inside bait content is one of the fundamentals of the cash creator model the cash creator model is the model I'm using to get to $100,000 per month in profit with just me and Christian my VA with 95% profit margins it's based on inside based content and I love it because it's so much easier to create. I don't need to give out guides. I don't need to give out like whole like systems. I can just like today press record, start writing and give an insight of what's going on in my business. And then people lean in because you don't tell them what to do. You show them where to look. And if you're a coach or you're a consultant or a mentor, an expert, you help people with some sort of education then maybe you don't need to give all your value away for free because the people who do that and works for them, they sell different things than you do. Maybe insight is the way for you so you can stop attracting so many triers and you will attract more buyers. If you'd like more help on how to do so, you can go to likesaintcash.com where you can join the newsletter and I'll email you every day and make you an offer every day so you can turn all the audience that you have into clients using insight-based content and other cool tools that I got prepared for you. Hope you enjoyed.